Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel. Apologies for the delayed uploads this this month. Um, we are in Ramadan right now and it, schedules have been all over the place. Plus my kids have been sick. So I can imagine when you've got two you know, sick kids, how it is like. But nonetheless, um, I am back this week with another review video of mine. Um, I've been, I've, I, you know, I unboxed this Prada tote very recently on my channel, but um, I've been enjoying it so much that I really wanted to come out here and give my initial thoughts, my first impressions, my review. Um, you know, if anybody wants to pick this up, maybe this video would be helpful because I do see these, um, I mean, I understand this is one of the older models from Prada. Um, but I still see a lot of people carrying it. Uh, they are available on the um, pre-love market as well. So let's get the review started. And as per all my review videos, I will of course be going through the aesthetics first of the handbag and then discussing some of the pros and the cons, right? Um, so of course, let's start off with the size first. So the size I have is of course the smaller size. I am looking down on my other phone just to, you know, see if there are any notes I miss out on because like all my review videos, I want everything to be as detailed as possible, right? So of course, let's go through the dimensions and the dimensions for this bag are the width is 28 centimeters, your length is around 15 centimeters and your uh, height is 20 centimeters, right? It's of course got feet at the bottom. So this is one of the best things that you could find on a handbag. Um, that, you know, I've, I've actually placed this down on the car, uh, like, on, in, like on the car floor as well. So I've not worried because like I said, there is, there are feet there. Um, you have of course got two interior pockets. As you can see right now, the bag is full to the brim. So you've got a pocket right here and you've got a zip pocket right here as well with this beautiful change detail and of course it came with all the tags um authenticity you know card and everything so that i always leave inside the bag you've also got a snap closure on both the sides uh, which i don't need i really don't need to expand the bag that much so ever since i've gotten the bag these have been intact right you of course have the beautiful print the metal hardware that you've got the Prada plate right here and of course there is the Prada Milano logo printed right at the front which I really like because it is uh, spelling out like like a brand like it's flashing out the logo but at the same time it's very subtle right so you've got like I mean the one I have is like white with the black but there are some that I've seen which are like exactly the same color so those are, of course are more difficult to identify and of course you've got denim handles so it does say of course it's a tote bag but I mean this doesn't really fit on my shoulder as you can see so I have to always see hand carry it or usually I carry it with the long strap and what I love about their strap is that of course it's detachable but it's also adjustable which makes it absolutely perfect so I have it like on thing where I'm the shortest lengths right now and that is around 43 to 44 centimeters, which absolutely works perfect. If somebody would like to crossbody it, of course it'd be longer, but I would never crossbody such um, you know, a bulkier bag. So these are some of the aesthetics of the bag itself. And um, it is, as I was reading, it's a vintage inspired gardener's bag. And um, the printing here is of course silk screen. And what I love is about also the hardware is that it's, you can see it is more brassy than it is gold. So it kind of dulls out a bit as well and it's not too like in your face kind of a gold. So these are some of the aesthetics of the bag. Um, let's get into of course what is inside the bag and uh, then we'll discuss all our pros and cons. So I'm quickly gonna show you guys what I've been carrying and this is exactly how I've been carrying it. I don't have an organizer in this yet um but i don't even think i need one um and it's 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 very generous you guys this is i mean it is 28 centimeters so it is like a medium sized bag right so i can just throw anything in here let's start off with the first thing i've got my miss dior hand lotion right here i've got my chanel compact mirror i've got of course a hand sanitizer 
I've got a hand cream by The Body Shop. This one is really good for the cuticles as well. This is, of course, their Shia, and this is for dry skin, so I love this. I am also carrying my Lip Glow by Dior. I love this. I think I've gone through like four or five of these, and I just finished one right now, and this one is like a new one that I just put into the bag. I've car I carry a little baggie now. Uh, this is like one of those, uh, you know, bags that you get with Chanel beauty items. So I, I leave these in my handbags now in case there's any jewelry I want to take off. Um, yeah, I can just pop it into this and then put that back in my handbag. I've got a little pack of uh, wet wipes. I'm carrying my Dior wallet. This is the Dior Canage um, wallet. This is the compact wallet and i absolutely love this so it houses of course all the cards and i've got some bills in here uh there's also some room for uh coins but i'm not carrying any coins in this at the moment but really really compact and really really spacious so i have to have that this time next i've got my louis vuitton um business card uh holder or as they call it the envelope the cart and i'm of course carrying all my extra cards my gift cards etc in this and then i've got my chanel okay so if you're following me on instagram i did post that i had to give this into repair because of course my leather tab um it just kind of flaked off i don't know what happened it was like it was crazy um, but anyway, I've got it back. It was in repair for a good two months, so I missed it a lot, and I've got like a bunch of beauty items in here. I'm not going to go through this. I think I've gone through this in every video, and my things don't change, so they're all the same. And then next, I've got myself a little, you know, hand brush, a comb, and then two of my really most used and favorite items, which I will, of course, link down below. These are from Dress Up Your Purse. And I do have a discount code if you guys are interested. You get 15% off on um, your total, you know, checkout, uh, like on your total value at checkout. So do check out these items. I've got two of their leather pouches. One is in the grain leather and one is in their smooth leather. For the smooth leather, I'm housing like some receipts and I've got like some coins and stuff. And ever since I received these, I have literally not changed out of them and then this one the grained um, leather is my favorite and this of course has my house key and the um, remote to my gate right so um, I've got all of the keys and the remotes in here and it's like I said I love these pieces so that is the bag all empty and as you could see I was carrying quite a bit um, like I said earlier, it has like um, a big back pocket right here and it's got like a pocket right here and of course you've got your zipper compartment in here as well. And it has the beautiful Prada plating in here as well, which is of course made in Italy, um, but really nice and um, really compact is what I would say, though it is like 28 centimeters. But I feel the bag is somewhat more compact and is somewhat more smaller, maybe because of how it's constructed. Let's get into the pros. So my number one pro, of course, is how lightweight it is. Because it is fabric, it is quite lightweight. As we all know with Louis Vuitton canvas as well, uh, those bags are really lightweight. So even though I've got quite a few things in here, and this is quite bulky, I think this is like around 30 ml if I'm not mistaken. And even despite this being in there, um, I really don't need to worry about the weight because it is quite lightweight. Um, it's been quite easy for me to carry on my shoulder. It's been easy for me to carry it handheld. I really don't, like I said, worry about the weight because it is fabric denim material. Bringing me on to my next pro, which is of course, I live in Singapore. And for anybody living in Singapore knows how unpredictable the rain is here. Um, you step out, it, it's nice and sunny, you'll be carrying your Louis Vuitton, you know, never full with all that vachetta, and within seconds, it'll just start raining. So, a big advantage is that I don't need to worry about the rain, like just, a, you know, a, three, a few days ago, I got some, like, I had to literally walk from my, uh, you know, the drop-off to the building, and I had, and it was raining, it was raining cats and dogs, and I had no umbrella because it was really sunny when I left. And um, I had to walk like a good five minutes uh, without an umbrella in the rain and this one was with me. And I literally just brushed off the water once I got inside. So a huge advantage because I don't have to of course worry about 
uh, the rain and I have to worry about things getting wet even though this is open so all I did was I just grabbed it like this and you know it really kind of closed the top as well there was a closure so inside everything was dry as well and then of course bringing me on to my third pro that it is uh, compact like I said earlier though it is 28 centimeters long I feel the bag is really really compact which really helps because you know I have it handheld most of the time and this is literally how I like to carry it and you can see even with a semi casual kind of an outfit something like you know something of denim actually looks good so um, I, I love how it's constructed I don't have I've never really had to open these and I'm sure if somebody wants to add more things they could always of course open this so a great size for every day really compact and lightweight as well and it looks good it looks good with of course a t-shirt and like you know joggers it looks good with like a semi-casual outfit um i i am enjoying it so far um let's now of course discuss some of the cons so one of my cons that i have noticed while i've been holding this bag is that it, because it is fabric it kind of gets out of shape so when it is like this when i am holding it with the longer strap on my shoulder i feel that it kind of just gets a little out of shape like this if you can see yeah so you see the handles don't really stay together and of course it's handheld it'll just become like this which kind of irritates me because it is on the shoulder and i would want my bag to look nice in place but because it becomes like this i mean it kind of i can't say it looks ugly but it kind of irritates me right that um it is what's it called um getting out of shape so i I'm, i i don't want to invest in a bag organizer for this honestly because i feel if i get one of those thicker ones it might add weight and that's something i don't want to do uh it really allow the you know the lightweight the denim the fabric allows me to put more things in and it, you know and at the same time i'm not worried that the bag is heavy so those are one that is one of the cons that i have the second con I have is um, sometimes I find a little dress difficult to match with what I'm wearing. Like now for today, I am wearing like black and white, so it kind of goes. But, um, you know, I understand it is black, so it would be easier, right, to match with some outfits. But some there are a few occasions where I've been wearing something um, and the bag kind of just looks out of place because it is really casual. It is denim at the end of the day, right? so um not of course a deal breaker but for somebody who doesn't dress that casually like me um i would not always be in t-shirts and sweats so for somebody like me it is slightly difficult at times to of course match this with all my outfits and um thirdly i really wish that there was some kind of a closure here i wish i could just close this and i could um you know of course protect the things that are inside because uh, just a couple of days ago, I was in the car and, you know, there was a break and everything just went rolling out. Uh, because I've got everything in pouches, I don't have to worry about small things getting out of place. But let's suppose someday I did throw my ring inside and, um, you know, it spilled out. I wouldn't even know, right? So I really wish to have like a snap closure or to have like a little button here that would close the bag. So these are some of the cons, but all in all, I have been really enjoying the bag. I did get the bag at the beginning of the year. Uh, so it's been like more than two months since I've now had it on my, you know, with me and I'm enjoying it so far. Um, it's, it's like I said, the cons are not a deal breaker for me, but just keep in mind that if you are somebody who's not a really casual dresser, maybe it would be difficult to match the bag with um, some of the items that you're, you know, with the clothes that you were wearing but nonetheless it is a beautiful bag i feel it is um it looks really chic when it's handheld although it is denim it looks really really chic and um it fits quite a lot you could easily throw in an umbrella here you could easily throw in a water bottle here i am filming on my phone right now but i've got the pro max so of course the phone fits in like a glove and usually i will just slip it in to the in the front compartment right here for easy access right but um yeah so these are my you know initial review my thoughts on the bag um like i said i am enjoying it so far um you know it is something different than what i usually carry um i you know i kind of went out of the box with this one because i don't do too casual i remember that was one reason why i returned the speedy bondelier because i felt it was way too casual 
but I, I took a plunge with this one. I got it at a good price. Um, this was, uh, I did get this through my personal shopper who's in the UK, so she got me a really good deal on this. Um, and I really wanted to try it when I saw it because of the way, you know, it was carried. The model looked really chic when she was carrying it. So I thought, why not? Just, you know, let's give it a shot and see. But thank you guys for joining me today. And if you have any more questions on this bag, just link them down below. And I will definitely, as always, get back to you guys on it. And I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.